Hello amazing leaders and welcome to day 27 of the amazing 90 day challenge. We're nearly a third of the way through. I hope that you're enjoying your challenge. I hope it is challenging as well. There should be some days where you may not feel like doing it, otherwise it would just be what you've been doing all of your life already. So there should be some days where it is challenging for you. The, the key is in the title there, the amazing 90 day challenge. But you should be able to do it and hopefully Whatever it is you've set yourself, some things are getting easier and maybe some things are, are still difficult for you to do sometimes, whatever it is. Have you started thinking about what you're going to do after this 90 day challenge that you've set yourself? Is there something else that has come up during the challenge that you think, right, I'm going to do that at the end of this one. Maybe you're starting another 90 day challenge during this one. Whatever it is you might be, there's no real rules around this. You can set your own ones, just as long as you keep pushing yourself to be a better version of yourself. So today we're going to look at where does your positivity come from? Now, as amazing leaders, I think it's really important that we are positive, that we send that message out to the people around us because they will feel our positivity or our negativity, whichever one it is. So it's really important that we create a positive atmosphere. It doesn't have to be a false one, it shouldn't ever be a false one, but it should be one where you are in control of your feelings and emotions most of the time, and most of the time you're giving that positive vibe out to the people around you. So would you describe yourself as a positive person? Think about that for a minute. What are some of the words you use to talk about yourself or words that you use to talk over yourself? Do you use words that are uplifting, that are empowering? Maybe there's a phrase you've got, maybe there's some quotes you've got, maybe there's a uh, screen on the front of your phone that's a positive message or on your screensaver on your computer. Maybe you've got post-it notes around your mirror so in the morning you're looking at positive things. Maybe you have them. Maybe that's something you could start doing. What about other people? Do they describe you as a positive person? If you were to ask them on a scale of 1 to 10, how positive would they describe you? What do you think their answer would be? Maybe there's a select few that you could even just send that message to right now and say, can you give me a, an honest feedback rating of how positive do you think I could be? And whatever the score is that comes back, Ask them the next follow-up question is, what would it take for me to go from whatever number you got to a 10 or to the next number up? And if someone gives you a 10, say, that's fantastic, thank you very much. What else do you think I could do to improve and continue to be better and more positive? Now, if you know that people are not going to describe you as a positive person, then maybe you need to just look at what you can do first before you send that message out so that you can change the perception of you in others by acting and being a more positive person. I really think it is a choice that we have. You know that deep down that you can choose whether you want to be positive or negative. It's a choice in each and every one of us. Now, I know that life happens around us. So some days it's easier to choose to be positive and other days it's easier to choose to be negative but make it a daily choice. Make it one of the things that you get into a habit of just to think and maybe even you say the words, I'm gonna be positive today. Maybe you say those 10 times over and see what that does for you. Maybe you smile more and see how that creates the feeling of being positive with inside of you. Whatever it might be that you need to do to become even more positive as a person and as an amazing leader, I'd really encourage you to do that. Now I want to think I want you to think about your positivity like a battery. A little battery that you would put into something. Some of the batteries you can now get, you can put your finger and thumb on the top and the bottom of them and it will tell you how full that battery is. It gives you a little line to show you how full it is. Or even a battery on your phone, you can see what percentage your battery is full or not. How full is your battery now of positivity? How full is it? Does it have different levels of fullness or emptiness depending on whether maybe it's a Friday night and it's five o'clock um, or a Monday morning at eight o'clock. How full does your battery of positivity feel then? What do you do each day 
each and every day, maybe even throughout the day, to top it up. Because I think it's something that actually can drain down. I don't think we're born with a certain level of positivity and then that's it forevermore. I think it's something that we have to work on and continually check in on ourselves. How positive was I during that last telephone call or the last Zoom meeting? Or how positive was I to that person in that email or that text message? I don't want you to be fake or false here, but I do want you to think, could I add in some more positivity that's genuinely with inside me? Or if it's not, I need to check in with myself first before I send a message, before I go to that meeting, before I make that telephone call. Whatever it might be, think now. If you had to rate it on a percentage out of 100, how full would your level of positivity be, like a battery? And if you've had a bad meeting, a bad phone call, a bad day, a bad morning, then that probably is going to be drained down more than it should be. What do you then need to do to top it up quickly before you go on to your next task? So for me, some of the things that I do or that I need to have to be able to remain positive or continue to be as positive as I can to try and be 100% full in my battery of positivity all the time. First and foremost, it comes from a good night's sleep. Sleep is so vitally important to us. There's loads of research out there that, I, that has been done on sleep and there's a, a book called Why We Sleep that I'd recommend you read or listen to. It's on Audible. And it, it just describes how the lack of sleep or the lack of good quality sleep really affects not just our positivity but our whole body, our whole well-being. So I'd really encourage you to think about that. Have a good night's sleep. Get into a good routine every night go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time the next morning get your number of hours in that you need seven eight nine ten whatever it might be for you personally to know that you're starting the day having a full battery of sleep at least that will help you to then set yourself up to having a full battery of positivity for me i also start my day by reading and also listening to positive things uh, I listen to different audio books, different recommendations from other amazing leaders or other podcasts or even books themselves. Often books will recommend other books within them. So I'll make a note of that and look it up to see whether it's something that I'd like to read or listen to as well. Reading in the morning does wonderful things for you. Often you're at your most receptive to take on that information, but also it sets you up for the day. So by all means, read some challenging stuff as well. But Make sure it's positive what you're reading as much as possible. It could be a podcast you're listening to as well, like this one. Maybe that's something that you do in the morning. Or maybe there's something else that you're listening to. Even some uplifting music can be a good way to start your day. You think about the boxers going into a ring. They all have their signature tune that they go into. That's to encourage them and their fans and the people around you. You know that the moment's coming where the bell is going to start to ring that first round and that builds them up. Could you imagine, imagine watching a, a, a boxing match or any type of sporting activity and then not being any motivational, uplifting music accompanying that? It wouldn't have the same feeling, would it? So whatever it is you need to do first thing in the morning to start your day as positive as you can, implement that as a habit. Maybe that's a good 90-day challenge that you can set yourself as well. We've spoken about this before, but it's so important to surround yourself with positive people, as many as you can, but make sure the majority of the five people that you spend the most time with during the day are positive people. Even one negative person, uh, I read something yesterday that one negative person can affect an organization of a thousand people. And it's just incredible the the power of negativity has as well as positivity. So surround yourself with positive people. Check in now who's around you, who do you work with, who do you spend the most time with, that, and are they positive or negative? And, and what can you do to help and influence your life to be surrounded by more positive people than negative people? Something else that I do to keep my battery topped up is to push myself to do positive challenges. This amazing 90-day challenge to record a podcast a day, 
under the Amazing Leaders podcast has sparked off loads of other things that's all been positive. Lots more learning, uh, lots more sort of in, in investigating into what I'm going to talk about. And it's amazing that doing a challenge like this creates more positivity. Some people think it will be harder and it will drain you and you'll become more negative, but it's the opposite that happens. Challenging yourself to do something every day, whether it's a fitness goal, a healthy eating goal, a drinking goal, whatever it might be, it encourages you to become more positive. And the feeling you get when you've posted it up or you've done that run or you've eaten something healthy over something not, the feeling that you get is amazing. That contributes to your positivity battery getting fuller and fuller. So all of these things have an amazing effect on what can influence your positivity. But one of the best things for me personally as well is having an amazing family around me. That really helps and encourage me to be positive as much as possible as well. And I know not everyone's blessed with that, but I'm just being honest with you as to where my level of positivity comes from. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share some of the other things that I do to help continue to keep me positive and to remain positive. And I hope that you've got one or two things from that. If you can, do something today to help top your battery up. Check in, where is the level? How can I get it another percentage or five or 10% higher today? Who am I going to surround myself with? Maybe you can't do it today, but plan to meet up with them so that you can become, you know, surrounded by more positive people and set yourself a challenge so that you can become positive about doing something new and different as well. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you'll have an amazing day. And remember, why be average when you can be amazing?